scientist chalk asteroid emission revealed, he said we are in the shooting path. Well, just a few videos ago we talked about space weather. We had 24 fireballs today, all directed towards Earth. The diagram on space weather of the inner solar system shows that all of the fireball orbits intersect at one single point, and that is Earth. Why is that? We are in the shooting path. Callum Hoare Express UK article today. Scientists warn that Earth is in the shooting path of thousands of asteroids. They may not all be bad news for future exploration of the solar system. Speaking on recent episodes of the Joe Rogan Experience, American astrophysicist Neil deGrasse Tyson was asked his opinion on Elon Musk's idea of nuking Mars. And Dr. Tyson, who has been credited by NASA for his work in space exploration, explained to viewers why the concept should not be ignored. The 60-year-old proposed his own theory on how to colonize the Red Planet. He said earlier this month, I don't think we should think of the idea as a literal thing, but more of a general principle of what we want to accomplish. You want to warm up Mars, you want to protect what could be the future of biochemistry, and then you seed it. Then you wait. You don't want to wait too long. You want to wake it up, and then you terraform Mars. We think there's a lot of water that was once on Mars that's just sitting below in a permafrost. Dr. Tyson claimed either an asteroid or comet could be used to achieve this goal after revealing a slightly worrying claim. He says, there are comets everywhere. We know how to do it because there is no real incentive. There is, however, no real incentive. It happens with or without us as we are in the shooting path of thousands of asteroids and comets. So what we would do is find one that's sitting close to us anyway and in the seventh orbit down the line or the hundredth orbit down the line then we would slightly deflect in such a way that it would then collide into Mars. Dr. Tyson finalized his idea by detailing how asteroids may come to help Earth in the future, the same way many scientists believe they did million years ago. He said, or even Earth if you want, if we needed some more fresh water, because he believes that, for example, comets have a lot of ice on them, and a lot of water. He says the problem is if something really big that would fill lakes collide with Earth, that would just be bad for life on Earth. Well, of course. It would be an extinction-level <laughs> event, obviously. And he says it's spontaneous deposit of energy that could change the climate, so you want to do it on the planet that you are trying to terraform, e.g. Mars. The plan comes after NASA received a warning over the most dangerous space rock heading to Earth, Asteroid Bennu. Bennu is asteroid 101955, other call it a small planet. It's formerly known as 1999 RQ36. It's a potentially hazardous object listed on the Century Risk Table with the second highest cumulative rating on the Palermo Technical Impact Hazard Scale. Investigators already warned the space agency that it could be devastating if they do not act. According to a study by scientist Maria Eugenia Sansatorio, the 1999 asteroid may impact the Earth. Dr. Sansatorio warned in a report of the Solar System journal Icarus that there is a good chance of the asteroid striking. She told Universe Today in, uh, back in 2010, quote, the total impact probability of asteroid 1999 QR36 can be estimated at 0 0.00092, approximately 1 in a 1,000 chance, but what is most surprising is that over half of this chance corresponds to the year 2182. Now, unlike all asteroids that pose a threat to life on Earth, NASA has a plan to tackle it. The space agency has its uh, asteroid missions, it's currently running a mission with its Osiris Rex spacecraft to find out more about asteroid Bennu.
the spacecraft spent two years chasing Bennu down before orbiting it for another two years and taking samples. Then in 2023, it will, black, it will blast back to Earth, allowing scientists from around the world to study the uh, samples. The mission team is particularly interested in learning the role asteroids like Bennu, dark, primitive, and apparently carbon-rich, may have played in creating life on Earth. It will also help scientists to refine the odds of striking of a, of a strike on the blue planet. Now, you know, chasing down an asteroid in a comet is not the same as visiting uh, a planet in our solar system or one of its moons because they travel so much slower than the asteroids and comets and meteors that are hurtling through the solar system uh, at a much faster rate. And our spacecraft, can they go that fast, first of all? That's one question. Can they go that fast to catch up with these celestial rocks that uh, are in, uh, that have a risk of uh, impacting Earth? Anyway, I'll leave a link below for you for this on Express UK. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece. In Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.